guys welcome back to the homestead I'm Laura with sustainably yours we just got back from a big adventure at one of uh, the Northeast Arkansas beekeepers associations um, field day and I tell you what I had the most fun I could barely uh, keep it together I was so excited to be there and to be there and I just wanted to um, to say thank you for Chris, to Christy for allowing us to come to her um, her home and, and look at her bees and her walk us through. It was really a joy to be able to see hands on how much fun beekeeping can be and to see someone so passionate and to have such, uh, such a, a, a great person to listen to. And I just hope to one day be able to, to do the same. But for right now, I want to I wanted to show you guys um, what we did get from Amazon. We got the Bee Castle 14 piece tool set. Yeah. And we will link that down in the comments, uh, the affiliate link, if you want to go and get yourself some bees. And if you don't already have a, t a, a beekeeper tool set, then uh, it'll be a, a good one to start with. Uh, we have not opened this yet, so um, we need to open it. We we do have our bees, and they're in nooks, and we're waiting to go put them over into their forever homes. So we need some bee tools to do so. So everything happens so quickly, and we we didn't get a chance to do this um, do this video yet. So here we go. I'm gonna start opening it up. And then um, I'll probably have a um, description sheet in here, hopefully, so that I can tell y'all what each of these are. We're going to start with our premium goat skin leather gloves. Uh, your leather gloves are to keep you from being stung. So here are some premium quality goat skin leather gloves. Will keep your hands safe, comfortable at all times. Number one, let's see what we else got. What else we have out of this box? Beehive grips. So I'm going to assume that these are going to be to take out. We got them right here. These bee frames. Bee grips for our bee frames. Uh, the next thing we're going to show you is the Queen Bee Marking Tube. Improved version plastic tube supplied with one sponge plunger. Great tool tube for beekeepers to mark the queen bee safely and easily. I don't know what that means. I do not know how to mark a queen bee. I have, though, seen these. So if you go out and catch a swarm or... You need to replace your queen. Uh, this is your queen catcher. So I do know what that is. Do not know how to mark a bee though. That sounds like a cheerleading thing. Give me a bee. Bee. I got you. Bee. I got you. So we're supposed to mark bees with this. It kind of looks like a little sponge paintbrush. Okay. I'm excited to find out how to use those. Next thing we're going to come out with, easy to secure hive beetle trap onto the top of a frame while minimizing disturbance in the hive and still allowing all frames to fit in the box. Beehive beetle trap. So beehives do get parasites and beetles and I guess this is going to catch some of those so that we don't have to, to deal with them as often. What's in the box? What are we going to pull out? Next, <laughs> next thing is going to be an uncapping knife. This serrated uncapping knife was made with sharp edges. Multifunctional design makes the blade an effective tool for separating combs from the hive walls when necessary. Alright, so sometimes the bees can get a little crazy with their combs if they've got too much space in there and you would need to separate those without disturbing the rest of the hive because you don't want to, um, to mess up 
it's a very detailed life these bees live and if you go in there and you start ripping them out then you're going to probably um, hurt some of the the brood and we don't want to do that so this knife is probably going to be what we you know we place along here on the sides you know to kind of loosen up all that stuff to to be able to remove these easily this looks like something that could do some damage. <laughs> Wow. Next thing on our list, let's see, is going to be a hive scraper tool. Best choice for separating hive boxes, prying out frames, scraping wax, and propolis off of your bee boxes and frames. I might want to get me some steel toe shoes because this looks like it would really hurt if I dropped it on my foot. Here's what this looks like. I'm eager to start to use that. I don't know what goes in here. I might figure that out later. It looks like it's important, but I don't know. That's the fun of learning. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to try anyways. And if anybody has any comments about that and wants to enlighten me then feel free to do so down in the comments. So this is a bee brush. This special soft bristle brush that will not harm the bees with durable bamboo handle. Gently removes bees from the frames both during inspections of the hives and removal of the honey. We were just blowing on them. We weren't using this. <laughs> we weren't. We were going. Move that away. But this is probably a better thing to do than blowing on them. I don't mind them blowing them. We had a bale anyway, so they weren't going to sting my face. But here's a brush to get closer to see um, at what stage the um, brood is some larvae, um, where they're putting pollen and um, all that stuff, just to check them out, inspections purposes. Next thing, ow, is newly designed uncapping fork. Why did it have to say newly designed when I don't even know what the old design looks like? They could have just said uncapping fork because it's all the same to me at this point. I don't know what a newly designed one or how special this one is now that it's newly designed. But apparently they're pretty proud of it because they got to put it in the, in the information that's newly designed. Not to be mistaken for the old design. And it is really sharp. Okay. More efficiently, much less wastage and mess than an uncapping knife. Okay, the L-Hig. Think your different needs. Necessary tool for beekeeping. Suitable for prying apart hive bodies, supers, and lifting up frames and scraping off any excess wax or propolis on the frames and hive walls. This. This right here is... Um, Probably going to be one of the most used tools. I see me using this a lot. Because this is what they were using. Actually, all they were using was like the two tools. Now, I'm going to show you the, uh, the one that was used the most in just a second. But I can see me using this one probably more often than this mean thing. And this scrapey thing. Okay. So... There's that. That's an L hook. Not to be mistaken for the J hook. And this is the one, this is the bad boy that they were using whenever we went to our um, field day. So she was kind of just like, you know, putting this in between those and. She would use, see this little L hook? It would go in here and she would pull them out this way. So that was super helpful to see her doing that. And you know, bees are so gentle. I was so impressed with 
like there were so many bees like swarming around us, but you would have never known because none of them tried to sting. They weren't aggressive. They were just kind of hanging out in their home and we were expecting them to like be like trying to like get in our veils and like I was wearing shorts with my um, beekeeper suit and my short, my short, my cap was right up against my pant leg of my bee suit and I was worried that maybe they, it was going to be really thin and a bee was going to sting me. I didn't get stung once, like at all. It was, it was so, so wild and I loved every minute of it. I was so excited and I can't wait for y'all to see us out there working on it. So the J hook is the must have tool for beekeepers. I understand that. This is very important. The J shaped hook is used to lift out frames. The sharp edge is for cutting off beeswax as a scraper. This hive tool is a mini crowbar. This one actually looks more like a crowbar. That is used to pry apart hive bodies and supers. So this is going to be my little, I'm going to keep this with me all the time. So Jacob doesn't take it because it, it's going to be mine. All right. Very important. Next. Our last very important tool, and it's probably one of the only one that y'all will be like, yes, I know what that is. is our smoker. I don't even have to look. This extra heat shield protective guard that surrounds the smoker to help prevent burns, so it has a guard to help prevent burns. For prefer perforated fire base provides air pockets at the bottom of the smoker to ensure good airflow. It is both easy and safe to use. Look at this little thing. This is like your staple as a beekeeper. Everybody sees these. These are so important. These, if you, it keeps the bees calm. It messes with their, um, their pheromones to um, keep them from communicating to one another. Yeah. And we'll, we'll make them really calm and gentle. Like they're not already calm and gentle. Look at this. Listen. Okay. Now, we did learn something fascinating. We went and already bought some pellets um, for this. I think you're supposed to light these. You put them in there. You give it some air. Smoke comes out of here. But... They were very informative um, and told us that we don't actually need these, that um, you can actually use pine needles and stick them in there, light them on fire, not light them on fire, get them smoldering, and use pine needles. And um, you can also use um, horse bedding and pellets, horse pellets, uh, feeding pellets and that burns also so we'll use these we'll probably dabble in a few other things but i don't even need these because i've got free stuff that i can use out in my yard and keep in a bucket but there's something that we don't have in here and um we'll make sure to make a video about that and it's going to be the feeders to feed your bees um, you feed them whenever they don't have a lot of um, resources surrounding them, um, like flowers and vegetables and everything to like carry pollen and like eat nectar and stuff. So we'll probably have to put out some jars of, um, of food for them and we'll show you how to feed your bees also. And there's a whole other, other thing that we need to get for feeding them. But that is it for now. Okay, that's our unboxing. And there was a lot of stuff in this teeny tiny little box. And I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is Bee Castle Beekeeping Starter Kit. It has all your beekeeping uh, tools that will fit all kinds of needs. But yeah, go ahead and ring that notification bell. Like us, subscribe, and 
next we'll be showing you um, how we're going to place our new bees, our nuts, inside their forever homes and show you our cute little homes that we painted. We didn't paint them. Our two oldest girls painted them and they're super cute and I can't wait for y'all to see them. Until next time, this is Laura with Sustainably Yours.